you know, like she's there, you know, and you felt like she just, and then when you turn around, she's not there. It's like, you know, she vanishes. Beverly Smith still sees her daughter in her dreams, but every day she wakes up in the real world and her daughter isn't there. Ever since she met, uh, disappeared, I go out that door and I look down that road to see if she might come home. I've done that every day. And every day, Beverly Smith faces disappointment. And it's hard sometimes for myself to go through a day. I might put on a good front, but in, inside I hurt. Vanessa and her mother would walk along this road leading up to their house every day. But on May 31st, 1997, Vanessa would make the familiar walk alone. Her walking stick was left behind, and her family never saw her again. The case baffled investigators. Five years later, no arrests. The leads gone cold. The carefree teenage girl had disappeared without a trace, less than a mile from her house. But even with no proof, Vanessa's mother still believes her daughter is alive and is being held captive. Her face, everything came to me. She says, Mom, I'm near you. I'm in a cellar. And she'd take her fist and on the door. She's coming to get me out. I'm locked in. Smith had the same vision more than once. She believes her daughter has tried to escape several times. I feel she's close. How close? I don't know. It could be 50 miles. Even 100 miles would be close. But I feel she's real close. Someone, someone this is missing here. Vanessa's room is just the way she left it. Just to see her sweet smile, you know, just to tell her that I love her, you know. I was told her I was proud of her, you know. Just say, Mom, I love you, you know. I miss that. This past December, Vanessa would have celebrated her 21st birthday. And just like every year since her disappearance, her mother bought Vanessa a gift and a card. You're the kind of a daughter every parent dreams of having, someone to take pride in, to spend time with, to love. You're the kind of daughter who fills life with special joy, and your birthday seems the perfect time to let you know how dear you are, how very much you are loved. That's fine. And she wears her daughter's memory close to her heart. She is my whole inner being. I'm telling you, I live for this girl. She was my whole life. I lived every minute of the day with this girl. And now she's gone, she's my best friend. Do you know what it is to have your best friend taken from you? You're afraid to get close to anybody because you feel like they're gonna be drawn away, taken away from you. I can't take that no more, I just can't. When Smith came to the media to publicize her daughter's disappearance, her conservative Mennonite church and many of her own family members disapproved. Along with Vanessa, her support system evaporated. I feel like I missed so much of her life. Five and a half years, that don't seem like a long time, but it is. She could have been married by now, you know, with her friends or, you know. I just don't want her to give up hope that I am coming for her. I don't care what it takes. <sighs> So Beverly Smith lives on because of hope. Hope that someday soon she'll see her daughter walking down the road, finally coming home. Vanessa, come home. We need you, we love you. And I am going to find you. I am. Don't give up hope. Your mom will be coming for you. Monty Francis, KC24 News.